Hello, darling. I know why you're here and you know why you're here. It's because you needed a little bit of a motivational pep talk and I'm here to do that for you, okay? So just act like right now I'm your homegirl and we're sitting on the phone and I'm telling you everything that you've needed to hear, which you already knew, but sometimes we all need a little bit of a reminder because if I'm being totally honest, I'm only even recording this because I need to hear this myself. So please don't get down on yourself and feel like you aren't good enough or you aren't worthy or that you aren't deserving or that you aren't capable. Just because you're even struggling, that doesn't mean you're failing. Matter of fact, that means that you are still going on. That means that you haven't given up and that is something to be proud of. Your past version of yourself is rooting for you right now and is so happy with your growth and with all the things that you have been able to accomplish. It has not been easy whatsoever. And guess what? It doesn't necessarily ever get easier. You just get stronger. You just figure out how to maneuver through things in a different way. You also get closer to God. So that's how you're able to have stronger faith. And that's why you're able to believe more. But guess what? As your faith grows and as your belief grows and as your awareness grows, so do the tests. So do the attacks from the enemy. And I'm not someone that even likes to focus on the negative or the enemy. Because really and truly, the enemy has no power over God and has no power without God. Because God uses everything in your favor. Just look back and think about all those things that you have been through that seemed so difficult, that seemed so personal, so hurtful or that seemed like it was ripping you apart, or that it was the end of you. If you take a second to just reflect and think back to that situation, not to beat up yourself, or to belittle yourself, or to think less of yourself, but to in fact empower yourself, to bring awareness to how much you have learned from that situation, how much you have grown from that situation and how that situation has helped you evolve into the person that you now are. I personally think you're so special and you may think, who am I? I don't know you personally, but guess what? I know God and God knows you. And that's why you're here right now. So I think you're special because God thinks you're special. And God is speaking to me and through me right now. And God is the only reason that all of these things are possible. So I want us to take a moment and just even say, thank you, God. Let go of the worries, let go of the stress, let go of the overthinking, let go of the fear, let go of the doubt. Let go of the shoulda, woulda, coulda. Guess what? If it shoulda happened, it woulda happened. Because it could have happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? Focus on the future. Focus on what's ahead. And focus on what you are going towards. Focus on your why. Focus on what. But the how isn't really much for you to think about. The how, you should leave that up to God. Because I don't even know how I'm sitting here right now recording this and God is telling me what to say because this wasn't my intention when I started. I thought it was going to go a different way. But I know that this is what needs to be said. And I'm speaking into a mic 
and some way, somehow, you are listening to this, wherever it is that you are in the world. I don't know how that's happening, but I know what I want to motivate. I want to help people. I want to inspire. And I want to do that for myself before I can even do it for anybody else. And I'm hoping that in doing it for myself, I can also do it for others and help you to do it for yourself and to also inspire others to do the same so that we can create this amazing domino effect where we can all live our best lives. But the reality of it is that we may not always feel our best. But as long as we are doing our best, that is all that matters. And if we are grateful for the fact that we know we are doing our best, then we are going to be in a position where we can live our best lives. Whatever it is that you feel like you need to do, you want to do, or you've got to do. I want you to take a moment and say, wow, actually, I get to do this. And I am blessed to be in a position to do this. And therefore, I'm going to do this thing with love and gratitude and know that as long as I do my best, that is the best. Nobody else gets to measure my success really and truly. Whether you are a student and there's a professor marking your grades or whether you are at a job and there's a boss giving you a certain review. I want you to understand that no one can quantify who you are and your blessings and your abundance. No one can truly break down and explain the blessing that God has put inside of you and on you and on your life. So don't get down on yourself and don't let anything or anyone stand in your way or make you feel less than or make you feel like you can't accomplish what it is that you want to do, that you get to do, because God has put you in a position to do it. This is your moment. Right now, don't worry about what's gone, and don't even worry about what's to come, because all you truly have is this moment right now. So if you focus on this moment right now, you focus on gratitude, you focus on love, and you focus on just doing your best and being your best and living your best life, then I promise you, everything else will work out as it needs to. And this isn't even my promise to you. This is God's promise to you because I can't even do anything without God and neither can you. If you believe different, that's on you, boo. I don't know what to tell you. I love and appreciate you. And I'm grateful that you are alive and that you are here on this planet, on this earth, doing what you're doing. Because each one of us has a special purpose and each one of us inspires one another and each one of us helps one another in our journey and in our life. Whether or not we know it, whether or not we even meet each other. Please remember that you are loved, you are appreciated, you are needed, you are wanted, you are special, and you can take up space, you should take up space, you deserve to take up space, and God is giving you space to do that so stop holding yourself back from the blessings that god wants to give you i know it's not easy trust me i know 
like I said at the start of this, I'm recording this because I myself need to hear this. But I pray for the strength from above and I pray that God gives us the power to do all the things that he desires for us, for us to live out all of the blessings that he wants for us, for us to be in a position to receive all of these blessings and for us to have the wisdom and discernment and the courage to utilize these blessings in the best way possible, not only for ourselves, but for the greater good of all. You know what you have to do. There's a calling on your heart. It may be a quiet little whisper, but there's a calling on your heart. And that calling isn't by chance. It isn't by fluke. Stop making excuses. This calling is from God. Matter of fact, don't even think about what you think you have to do or what anybody else requires from you or what anybody else wants you to do or whatever standard anybody else is holding you to. I want you to forget about everyone and everything and even yourself for a second and just ask God, what do you want from me? What is the calling that you have placed on my heart? Where do you need me to be? Where do you want me to go? And how do I do that? Show me. And when God starts to show you, and when God starts to speak to you, please make sure that you're listening. Sometimes it's real quiet and it's real subtle, but it's there. For example, this video, this recording in itself, this is God telling you, to listen to that calling on your heart and to follow through so that you can live out that life that you desire so that you can have all those things that you desire because your desires desire you and it's like that for a reason your wants are sometimes ego based so don't focus on the wants focus on the desire that's the higher vibrational Sometimes the desire is more long-term. Sometimes the desire takes longer investments. Sometimes the desire doesn't even come easy. Sometimes the desire requires some ugly work. Maybe you desire to live in a mansion. Maybe you desire to have a million subscribers. Maybe you desire to have a million dollars. But guess what? That desire is going to take hard work, dedication, consistency. Showing up for yourself, believing in yourself, rooting for yourself, loving on yourself, especially when nobody else is doing it. Not when everybody else is doing it, especially when they aren't. And that's not going to be easy. That's why we will need these pep talks We're right here. And we'll be checking in with God every now and then to figure out what do we need to know. So whenever you feel called, you can come back and listen to this pep talk or listen to one of the others. But know that there's a calling on your heart. There is something that you were born and created to do. And it's, it is your responsibility to do it. No matter how hard it is, because God will take you through whatever he has called you to. Okay? I hope that you really and truly understand that you are not listening to this or hearing this by chance. This was God ordained. God loves you. God appreciates you. And God sees all and knows all. And God knows that you've put in a lot of work to get to here. And God is going to help you get to where you need to get to. So align with those desires. Raise your vibration. Call on your higher self and show up as that version of yourself that you want to be. Not who you think you are or who other people think you are. Show up as that version of yourself that you want to be so that you can have those things that you want. Because you are that person. 
it's not easy, but guess what? Don't tell yourself it's difficult because that makes it even more difficult. Tell yourself it's easy to show up as myself because I love myself and I am me and I was created to be me and I was created to do these things because I've been called to these things. Speak power and life into yourself because you got this. God did not put you here by chance. It's time to answer to that calling on your heart. It's time to show up and do some of the ugly work that you don't want to do so that you can live out that pretty life that you want. It takes hours and days of recording a movie, of behind the scenes producers, editors, of chopping, of being in the rain or being in different weather climates for months and days, remembering lines. All these different people go through all of these difficult things for a long period of time, all for us to sit there and watch a movie that lasts two, maybe three hours long. For people to get dressed up and go walk a red carpet and go on tour across the world. And a lot of things from the outside can seem real pretty, but sometimes we forget that there was a lot of ugly, hard work that had to go into that prettiness. So guess what? It's time for us to get real with ourselves, me included. And it's time for us to say, we are holding ourselves accountable and we are going to do the ugly work so that we can live out that pretty life. I love you. I appreciate you. And I know that you got this. And I'm counting on you to do what you need to do so that I can also do what I need to do and that we can all empower and encourage one another whilst holding each other accountable. If you feel like you connected with this and you feel like it's helped you, go ahead and comment. Go ahead and help somebody else in the comments communicate, connect. Right here, this is a family. And right here, we are God's children. If you didn't know, I'm the spiritual godmother or the fairy godmother, whichever you like. But I was sent here by God to give you this message, and it's not by chance. So I thank God for this moment, for this opportunity, for this ability. And I thank you for staying all the way through and listening to what I've got to say to you. Listen to what God has got to say to you. You know what you need to do. So go ahead and do it now. God's waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. And the world is waiting on you. All you got to do is show up as who you are and who you were created to be. I love you. Bye.